Welcome back to Fives A Crowd. Yeah! Yes! Yes! So you guys are going to have to practice. Today, actually, that music's perfect because today we're going to be doing a debate night. Yes. Mm. If you and, couldn't tell. Yeah, if you couldn't tell <laughs> from the title that you clicked on. Um, yeah, we've done this before in the past. It's always a lot of fun. Tonight's just going to be kind of like... From the hip, I guess. We've kind of gone in this before with like lists or we've been searching, but we'll just kind of get them as we go and have fun with it. I so, like shooting from the hip. Shoot My from wife the doesn't hip. like it though, but. We all like to shoot from the hip. <laughs> now, here's a challenge for all of you guys tuning in. If we make you laugh, we make you smile, or even just deep pandering. <laughs> Hit that subscribe <laughs> and share. Maybe and podcast. share. Yeah, you know what? We're so small, guys. We're up against some of these big names when it comes to podcasts. We're literally one of the smallest, and every little share helps. So share us with your friends, share us with your family. We'd really appreciate it. But uh, let's get this debate going because I'm ready to rock. So who's got the first question? I'm, I'm going to start it off with what Tony asked earlier. Oh, oh, okay. McDonald's, the best fast food restaurant. Best fast food restaurant. Are you yes. saying is it the best is fast it food the best restaurant? Food like restaurant? Agree or disagree? Do you agree or disagree? <sighs> disagree. Disagree. Nah. Disagree. disagree. Tony? Oh, I disagree. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure. No. Okay, so let the debate begin. What is the best fast food restaurant? Wait, wait. Chris never gave his input. Uh, what oh, you I totally disagree. I, you did. Yeah. I was going to oh, say yeah, it yeah. too. I think the only thing I agree with is that you can count on them being terrible and cheap. Like, so when you, exactly. when you need a quick today. filler and it's like, you have a couple bucks, then okay. I went there today, got three sandwiches for four bucks. So, but yeah. every once in a while you hit them right when they transition into cooking fresh food. That's true. And it is, it is glorious. Mm. You know, I, I don't disagree. order anything <laughs> Not the best. but the value menu at McDonald's. Oh, same. I, I've tried combo meals. Like maybe nope. a handful of times. They are nasty. Even they're like Angus burger. That's like supposedly. What about like their Big Mac? Nope. I don't. You don't do I, the Big Mac? I do like a classic Big Mac. Big Macs are great. Mm -hmm. I have gotten the same thing every time at McDonald's since high school. A McChicken and that? a McDouble. Two hot and spicy McChickens, no lettuce, and a large fry. Hot a boy. Mm. And I, I eat it. I actually put cheese on it, too. So either I'll get it from them or I'll put my own cheese on it. Because I like the cheddar sharp and thick. <laughs> Anywho, I will eat one normal, but the other one I will put fries on. So mm. the first one I eat without fries, the second one I eat with fries. Mm. Now, how'd you come upon this concoction? I have no idea. It, like, how does literally, it come up it's with been all so these long. concoctions? Who knows? <laughs> it's been so long that it's just, that's how I do it. I'm opposite. Life. Really? I get extra lettuce and add pickle to it. Ew, gross. Oh, that, Ooh, that sounds, sounds good. amazing. Except I don't like McDonald's pickles. Mm. They are like nasty. Yeah. Okay, so so back to the question. <laughs> Favorite fast food restaurant, then? Man, What's classified that's... as fast food? Has a drive through window. See, yeah. That's what I do. Okay. Okay. Same page. Fast food. Oh, man, that, oh, that, that really opens it up. Because you can go to a lot of places that have drive-up windows. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's think of it this way. What restaurant could you go to every day of the week? That every should day? help you. That should help you narrow Ooh. it down. I have two. I've got one. Carl's Jr. or Jack in the Box. Ooh. Really? Ooh, yeah. Those grease traps? Oh yeah. Bro, you're eating nothing but grease. I don't care. That's yeah, heart stopping. <laughs> they will stop my heart, and oh, I don't care. Oh my god! Oh, they are amazing. I man. honestly, that is like the lowest on the totem pole for me. Yeah. Really? Both of those. I haven't been to Carl's Jr. in a while. They are Love disgusting. Carl's Jr. The only me. problem I have with them is they're expensive. They're way overpriced. Yes. they are not worth it. Even if it's given away free, it's mm. not worth it. Carl's Jr., where you can get a six dollar burger for five ninety nine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, their advertisements, though, back in the two thousands, <laughs> you couldn't do better. They knew who they, they were, were targeting. They knew who they were a certain crowd. <laughs> boys. They, they were targeting fives a crowd. Teenage boys, one hundred percent. This doesn't get all over the place. It doesn't belong in your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. I mean, now looking, now hearing that again, I'm like. Like, wow, Isn't how did I miss that? Okay, but the their burger <laughs> that had the rib on it. Do you remember that? Yes. It was a burger with ribs. 
like the rib meat yes. in that, but it was like good rib meat. It wasn't like McRib. It was like good. Oh man, that was a good burger. Mm. Nah, nah, I'm good. Nah. I don't know what mine would be. Mine would be Costa Vida. Is that? Fast I don't know. It's got a drive-through window. There is does the it? one in Layton does. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. I wouldn't include that, but I think every location needs to have one. Costa, a drive-through. dude, Costa Vida is my jam. Mine's Arby's. I love I, Arby's. I love Arby's. You know what's weird is like no uh, until now, <laughs> I've never heard of anyone being like Arby's. We have the meats. The only time I've ever gone to Arby's, now that I think about it, is with you or with you. <laughs> yeah, I've there never often. gone there by Arby's. Arby's is my fail safe. If nothing sounds good, Arby's. You know what? Though? Always sounds. It's good. weird because I every time I go there, I'm pleased. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love I, Arby's. Dang it. Chick-fil-A know. popped into my head, too. I love Chick-fil-A. Gosh, Chick-fil-A good, but... over... What's the word? Popeyes? Like, overplayed. Oh. Kind of like... Dude, Popeyes is so good. Pop- I haven't I had Popeyes. Popeyes. I'll be honest. Popeyes it's is good. so good. I need to try. I've heard great things about Raising Cane's. Oh, I've heard about We're them. We're getting a new yeah. one. It's like... Well, Riverdale. there's one down in West Valley there's right now. one in Riverdale. Somewhere. Mm. Um, when? It's being built right now. I've like never the, been, but I've heard up. incredible things. Like we're talking, like remember when In and Out, In and Out got oh yeah put mm-hmm. in first, like bigger. Remember how I had lines for days? Really, Raising Cane's is like mm-hmm. uh, lines around the block. What is that? Like a jerker boy? A jerker boy? A jerker boy? We're going down to the jerker boy. Come on, man! Jerker boy, we're coming. It's chicken. Look here, fat. Yeah, no, it's, it's chicken a lot like uh, uh, it's like Popeyes, Popeyes, but it's mm. supposed to be like way better. Yeah, so Raising Cane's is actually Post Malone's like favorite. Mm. Did he bring him here? Maybe. Probably. He may have. May have just dropped some coin like, hey, open one up. Ooh, I, I think I changed. Oh, I don't know. It's like a Cajun chicken joint. Is that what it is? I think so. Mm. Southern, Lolo, Southern chicken joint. Lolo Hawaiian. Oh, they're really Dude, good. Mobetas. Mobetas is delicious, Mobetas too. That's good. I, yeah. I think I'd probably be with... Oh, I've been, for the last while, been on like a, like a Mexican food kick. I mean, it's always good. But I feel like either Taco Bell or... Ranch Ritos. I love Taco Bell. But we just had this conversation yeah. Taco literally is not the other day. Mexican food. It is. We well, had this conversation style. the other day. What is it? It's, it's Americanized. Not. Okay. Horribly Americanized. Americanized what Mexican is food. most okay. of the food you eat? American food. Exactly. But it's not real Mexican food. It doesn't matter. It's not authentic. It doesn't well, matter. It doesn't matter. It is I, I personally don't. I don't know if Taco Bell is food. But <laughs> Taco Bell is so good. <laughs> yeah, bro. The way your body reacts to it. I don't know if that's See, food. That's so you know, your body's like, no, get tell me that this. crap out of here. When you, when you make homemade tacos, what do you use? Hamburger. Hamburger? Hmm. Where's the Mexican? There's not. Exactly. Because well, you love it Americanized. I Don't do. even try to I play. Do. But how Austin feels about Carl's Jr. and uh, <laughs> Jack in the Jack Box. Jack in the Box. That's how I feel about Taco Bell. Bro, so it is a grease Cam, trap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill be. your argument right now because we literally had a taco food truck. Yeah, and it was good. Our argument was like, how can you go to Taco Bell when this... Is right I, near you. I don't remember making that argument. <laughs> I have heard those taco, but those taco trucks are amazing. Dude, I'm a lot. Yeah, taco trucks, the or carts the, the on the corners, carts. like that crap is freaking delicious. It is. How Honestly, you, I'd probably choose Rancheritos. How can you go to Taco Bell over Rancheritos? Because sometimes I want like a cheap. Again, sometimes <sighs> I want a cheap taco. <laughs> and it's fast, like legit. faster. Like, Del Taco, then. The taco same Tuesdays. reason we all eat McDonald's. I'll take Del Taco over Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell. I don't like Del Taco. They had a weird texture. Cheesy gordita crunch with chicken. Thank you. <laughs> There's something about their meat. All right. Delicious. Delicious. Really del- because this is so broad. Delicious. Let's narrow Come. her down a tick. So good. <laughs> what do you say, burger joint, okay. fast food? Okay. Okay. Where do you go? Is Arby's in that? <laughs> no. No. For a burger specifically? Right. For, you know a, what? Burger for a burger jo- specifically. I might change, even though I love Carl's Jr. Jack in the Box, I might change my mind to Burger Bar. Okay. That place, <laughs> and it's local, but that place is 
Got some good burgers. I really like Paces. Paces is you never been Tony paces. Burgers. <sighs> yes, Love sir. Tony burgers. burgers. Stop. If you're willing to drop some coin, yeah. Tony Burger is where it's at. It's about nine, ten bucks for a burger. That's it. No fries, no drink. Yeah. It's basically Crown Burger, Apollo yeah. Burger is good, and Apollo Burger. Yeah, they're all that yeah. same like weird like Greek burger Actually, place. Too, I, I just hate went those to burgers. You know what I mean? Like they're. I just went to Warren's. Warren's is good. Ooh, Warren's is their, good. Their Warren's blue good. bacon burger. Oh, that's my oh my gosh. Okay. I can't pick. Hey, I would say. I was going to say that. That's a hard one. We got to narrow it down. Burger stop, dude. Okay. Let's say it has to be big chain, like a big chain. All name. right. You got the big four. BK, Wendy's, McDonald's. BK. Carl's Jr. BK. Is that part of the big four? Well, you name a four. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was a fourth and now I don't know. So. Yeah, sure. So BK, Wendy's, McDonald's. In and out. Let's just. Let's just but go top in three, and out still West Coast. The, let's just go to like number Carl's, three. Just the three? Yep, let's just go to the three. Yeah, Burger yeah. King, Donald's, hands, Wendy's, or Burger dude, King. Burger King's Burger out King. already, so let's go to the two. Burger King. <laughs> Burger King, hands down, dude. <laughs> no. Really? No. Yes. I love Burger no. King. Oh Burger my King, gosh. hands down. If not Burger King, then Wendy's, but Burger King, hands down. For a burger, I'd go to Wendy's. No. For a burger? Yeah, dude, that double dude, baconator. Their mm. Whopper? Oh my goodness. I, See, they're angry Burger. Whopper. Whopper, 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 Whopper was weak, even when Austin spiked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. right. You were sweating. <laughs> I ate it all, though. Burger King, hands down, that actually tastes like a grilled burger. It doesn't taste like fast food. You know, I got to say, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think the Whopper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I don't mm-hmm. know. It's been a long time since I've been to Burger It's nice. It's meaty. It's juicy. It's good. It's got a lot of veggies on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was, yeah. Was, was Burger time? King? Sponsor us. You got your <laughs> spokesman right here. When was the last time you had Burger King? Uh, last week, actually. Weird. When was the last time you had it? I haven't eaten out, period, in a while, so I don't know. Like how long? Tonight. And you had Wendy's. Got oh, him. Oh, why didn't only you have because King? only because Wendy was uh, Wendy's was on the way. Which is funny because I had Sounds McDonald's weird. tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Burger King. Hmm. Which I can't I can't tell you the last time I had them. The last time I had Burger King was when they had a free burger through T-Mobile Tuesday. There you go. <laughs> How long ago was that? A while. And you that was probably pay about for it? It was probably about uh, a couple months ago. When's the last time you had Wendy's? Well, tonight. It's been forever. Like, I so, would dare say over but, six months. When's the last time you had Wendy's? But if I, when I go to Wendy's or McDonald's, I'm getting their chicken. True. I, I, I hardly love their ever chicken. Get, I hardly ever get a Well, burger. that's the problem is I just don't get burgers. <laughs> I always get chicken. Yeah. So, See, if I had, like, burger, like, Big Mac and Whopper are right here. They're the reason I'll pick Burger King over the other two is because Wendy's and McDonald's both, I usually don't order out of the value menu. I go there because it's cheap. Burger King, I will order anything off that menu. And it's fantastic. You do have the Hershey pies. Those are great. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried them that? Have mm-hmm. you tried their little cheddar tater tot jalapeno things? Jalapeno poppers? Oh, no. Okay, but here's the thing. Taco Time's little Mexi fries? Freaking delicious. We're going to do a Burger King eat the menu. Okay. I'm going to we'll sway see. you. I'm going to we'll sway see. you. Because y'all talking about Burger King. But y'all eat at other places instead. I do have to say, for me, it's a proximity thing. There's one right right Yeah, but the other two are way closer. Like, down the street, like two blocks. It's true. Yeah, but those three (laughs) turns are real pains in the (laughs) butts. Okay, that's true. The closest Burger King to me is like a mile away. The closest Wendy's and McDonald's is like two blocks. But if it was that good, you'd make the trip? Not when you, nah, not so when it's you not drive, that good. No, so it's not that good. No, not when you drive all day long, and the last thing you want to do is go for a long drive. Oh no! Oh, sure. You save that for a treat. Exactly. Oh no! That's sir. also the other thing is Burger King. I don't no, want. I think Chris is right. Do it. It's, yeah, I literally treat. work next door to a Burger King. I could walk over to it, but I choose not to because I have to have the money and that treat. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Treat, treat yourself. <laughs> That's where I'm having King. a rough day. I treat no, myself to Burger if it's King. The best burger you would eat there more. If it was the best burger, I would drive down to 
Well, actually, you're I You're trying to argue taste. You can't argue taste. I'm yeah. arguing the fact that you're, you're saying argue. it's the best, but not, you're going but there. But your That's argument is convenience, yeah, not what, taste. What we're doing is we're choosing convenience over taste. Okay. Convenience, Wendy's and McDonald's, because they're cheap and there's 10 times Dude, more locations. Burger King's like the same price. And they're like fat. And they're, they're faster. Getting in and out of Wendy's or McDonald's is a lot faster. Yeah. That's because. Burger King actually cooks their food to perfection. <laughs> I don't know. I got your back on this. <laughs> Burger King, Burger King, you need to sponsor us <laughs> big time. Yeah, Burger King. I, so what does that make? Prove me wrong. Does I don't that think make you it can. four? See, I work, four to one. Yeah, four, right, four, four to one. Four to one. I will die on this hill. I'm gonna say this too. <laughs> You're gonna die real hard. I've never had a bad experience ordering something from Burger King. Yes, yes. consistency. Just tonight, I ordered. When's the last time you ordered from Burger King? It's been a while. Okay. I've been trying not to do. Fa- I don't do fast food. I was gonna say often. it's true. This you should have a... seen Tony's face. Oh yeah, I ordered my junior bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's today. Specifically uh-huh. said no tomato. Both had tomato. He said he was allergic. Just well, I will say this. <laughs> I drive I I by was. Burger King multiple times every day. It's right down the street from me. I have never seen more than one car in that drive-through. They're understaffed. Ever. So that's perfect. That means you're getting fresh. I thought they took longer, though. That's fine. Because they that's, cook it fresh. Then, why is there no one in the drive-thru? What Burger King are you driving past? The one. The latent one. Uh, well, let's not give away our location. <laughs> <laughs> it's his fault. I haven't even had bad fries from Burger King. I mean, their fries are good. No, <laughs> but I mean, McDonald's, sometimes you get cardboard. That's true. But we're talking about burgers. Old oil. <laughs> That's true, too. All right, to next sea. debate, four to one. Burger King is our choice. Yes. No. What's yours, Cam? <laughs> I already said it. Which I said one? Wendy's. I don't know if you actually did claim yours as I Wendy's. did. I claimed it at the very did beginning. He? I said the double bacon. I think bacon, did, the, yeah, because of the bacon thing. Oh, the okay, double baconator. Yeah. All right, all right. You know right. why I hate Wendy's? Because of their fries. It's because she they has red hair. way too salty. Oh, Everybody's good. So you know, not, it's they're funny. not salty. That's the problem. No, they are. <laughs> Every one I have of them, they're way too salty. I think it's funny that Cam Burns picks it off at the end. Cam picks his favorite burger because it's bacon, not actual burger. I mean, there's burger under the bacon. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's hidden by the taste of bacon. No. Have you had Burger King's form of the baconator? No. All right, then. Burger King's He's going to. I'm going to go buy every single burger on that menu. Oh, We're going to taste man. test it. <laughs> All right, next debate. <laughs> what, what else we got? we got? Hmm. I had one, but it's food related, so now I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what a debate is. It's not agreeing. You guys get that, right? <laughs> We don't have to agree. Yes, we do. You <laughs> just stay in your corner. <laughs> Dude, I'm not afraid to stand alone. That's good. I'll do it. Because you're going to stand alone all night long. And I'll enjoy every second of that Baconator. <laughs> every second. I want you to try Burger King's form of the Baconator. What's it called? I'm not saying I won't. We need to know what it's I called. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> the Burger King Baconator. <laughs> That's weird. I does, thought it was the best. Don't you go there often? Does Wendy's have a burger? Like McDonald's has the Big Mac. I think it's the Baconator. Yeah, it's called. Is that the no, main no, no, it's, it's called, called Dave's Dave's Single, Famous Dave's, Dave's, Dave's. Yeah, Dave's oh. Single, Dave's Double, Dave's Triple. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll also say their Twitter account slays. It's pretty funny. I'll give you that. It's, they're pretty funny. They're fun. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> was like, what did they say? They were like, they're like, why would I eat at you, eat at your restaurant, you know, with that unnatural square shaped patty? And they're like, as opposed to the natural round shape of hamburger patties <laughs> <laughs> oh nice <laughs> and what did they say there's one from chick-fil-a and it was like chick-fil-a was named like number one re- restaurant or something and uh and what was it it was Chick-fil-A came on and they're like, imagine, oh, it was like beating out Wendy's and it was like, imagine if we were open on Sundays. <laughs> and, and then Wendy's came on and they're like, what did they say? They, they were like, something about your mom or whatever <laughs> like, was their response to it. It was so good. So good. You can't even remember it. I can't. Dude. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Funny. <laughs> that's so crazy. Kind of like the taste of that Burger King you guys don't get. I like it. 
Just you for that, I'm going to go to Burger King tomorrow. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, to, but just to take a picture. <laughs> Despite you, I'm going to go right after this podcast. <laughs> all right, see That's that what it's called. It's called the Burger King. You can send the check to, uh, you know, you know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> there you go. Go get a Baconator and go get a Double Bacon King from Burger double King. Double Bacon King. I will say... Burger King definitely had the best commercials back when they had the king being creepy. Now he's not. Now he's kind of a loser. <laughs> but creepy king commercials were freaking hilarious. See, see, tell me that doesn't look better than the Baconator. Baconator Come has on. bacon between the patties, too. Come on, Yum. see? See? Yeah. No, bacon between you the lose. patties. It's on top and between. We have spent literally a half an hour <laughs> debating. This is a, this a, is a burger. Debate. This is a debate. <laughs> literally... What we prefer. This is. It's not even their the fault. statistics. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally flavor. <laughs> Look, mm. I like one. You mm. like the other. Woohoo! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, this is a debate, right? Like, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> All right, get us going on another one, Tony. I don't know. Come on. Like I said, the only other one I'm seeing that's, I don't know. What was your food one? Yeah, let's do it. It was simple. Cake or ice cream? Ice cream. Cake. Ice cream. Ice cream cake. Oh! <laughs> Unless, do you know what, though? Better than sex cake? Oh, my oh. gosh, yes. Yeah, so good. Is it I'll make it. sex? It's debatable. It's, <laughs> it depends. I mean... I like to make mine so moist that you almost eat it with a straw. sloppy. Oh, what it, we talk about? Which thing? <laughs> sex or the <laughs> sex? Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> you lost, Tony. No, I think. <laughs> Stirring macaroni. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Oh. This oh. is the... <laughs> <laughs> I regret saying that. I really do. <laughs> I regret it. Uh, I think all in all, I'd have to say ice cream. I agree overall. Yeah. No. Cake. Ice cream, definitely. Yep. Although I'm partial because ice cream upsets my tummy. <laughs> but you still eat it. Occasionally. And that's, See, but that's I, I would rather, I, ultimately though, I would rather choose cake though. <clears throat> When's the last time you ate ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> it's a valid question. It's yeah. not. It, it is. is. <laughs> when it you're is. arguing better flavor. Um, <laughs> if I don't if know. it's really that much better. <laughs> 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 this is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> it is. I love it. Here, I got one for you. Sonic or Knuckles? I thought Ooh. you were talking about the rest of That's what I was going to say. Um, Knuckles. But Sonic. What? Actually, have you ever watched the, the show? The cartoon? Uh, it's actually really good, for one. But Knuckles is like, <laughs> he's very dumb. <laughs> Like oh, really? he, he's, yeah, like a, just, he's like a he's like a essentially a male version of a bimbo, I guess you could say. A Jimbo. He's funny though. <laughs> like I like him. I just See, meant I just, playing him. I just thought he was a fun yeah. character. They're bringing him into the movie. I never really yeah, played the game. Oh, speaking of Sonic, did you guys ever watch the movie with Jim Carrey? Yeah. yeah. Is it so good? good? Oh, it's yeah. wicked. They're doing it's so really? good. My daughter loves it. Okay. I'll have to I watch love it. it. Okay. Yeah, they've already was filmed Nichols the second a bad one. guy. No. He, Yes, he was originally. Yeah, and then originally he became like a friend. Was. Yeah, oh. really? Mm-hmm. I'm what pretty was sure the, he was like who the, was the red Sonic. That's Knuckles. That's Knuckles. Knuckles. He has like the oh, kind of like thinking of tails. I'm hair. thinking of tails. And he's got like the nobody cares about like, tails. Spikes <laughs> Knuckles. Yeah. Oh, okay. He can Just climb kidding. stuff. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah, Son or uh, Tails is his weird little friend. Yeah, that's who I was thinking. I remember the old cartoon when they ate a lot of chili dogs. Yes, yeah. I remember that. I watched that Dude, all the time. I love Chili Dogs. Tails was so whiny in that one. He was whiny all the time. Yeah. Mm. All right, next debate question. What's the biggest animal you could beat in a hand-to-hand combat? <laughs> oh. <laughs> biggest animal? Yep. Man, like, there's like some... literally, if you were actually in a yeah. fight with it. Yeah. Man, there's some cats that could wreck me. Oh, yeah. Well, what what <laughs> could Bro, you I beat? Would, I could wreck a gerbil. Just... <laughs> 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 I don't like that because a spider can beat me, so I'm out. But that's not an animal. It's an insect. 
Still not really trying to. Bro, you are so. You are better be so thankful. Natural selection doesn't happen anymore. (laughs) (laughs) You'd have been gone decades ago. I know. Well, I'd probably have to say some kind of monkey, maybe. No way, dude. Monkey would f you up. Chimpanzee strength is ridiculous. Well, that yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like. Just like a spider monkey. Tree monkeys. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Grab them by the tail and spike them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> From personal I'm just strains. trying to think big. Like, I don't know. And if we're talking boxing. I've what, wrestled, about, what about a king? Sorry. I've wrestled with stare. So. A kangaroo. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> what about a kangaroo? Dude, kangaroo would jack you oh. up so hard. Do we have know. a knife? <laughs> I saw a guy, I saw a guy beat up a kangaroo because I was trying to kill his dog. Yeah, he punched it in the face. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> he right hooked it. Yeah. Well, it was and beating up his like, dog. It was justified. <laughs> but he didn't know what to do. He was all he was all talk. Yeah. <laughs> he, had the, he had some big biceps. He was beating dude. up the dog, right? That's he was actually like choking. He was like choke. He had yeah, the dog choke had a chokehold. Yeah. Dude, kangaroos are weird, man. Did you know that's a defense mechanism? They will puff up their muscles. Like when you see them like mm-hmm. all ripped, that's like scary. a scary. <laughs> yeah, it's intimidating. It They're basically a grown rat with muscles. Yep. That's what they are, basically. Ever, like as far as in Australia, they, they're Aust- they're Australia. Australia. Marsupials. Have you ever seen inside the pouch? No. I've heard it's, it's fleshy. It's yeah. not hairy. I've heard of that. I thought it was like goopy. It's no. just like fl- skin. Like uh. but like weird looking skin. <laughs> Kangaroo, like the kind of skin that belongs on the inside of you. <laughs> they almost, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. They almost look like a rabbit, and a horse decided to get funky. <laughs> That's what they look like. So is the Jersey Devil a kangaroo with wings? <laughs> yeah. Man, hand to hand combat. Hmm. Trying to think of what I could beat. Hmm. Not much. I beat a steer. That's a, that's where. That's I'm pretty at. big. Yeah. How would you beat it? You ride up next to it, you grab it by the horns, and you twist its head, and it flops down on the ground. And then you. But we're talking boxing. That's hand. It <laughs> said hand hand <laughs> combat. Yeah, he didn't say boxing specifically. That's hand oh, yeah. hand. Oh, okay. Okay. Lawyered. <laughs> Just kidding. Sloth. I could take out a sloth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> koala. I bet I could beat a koala. I, know. I don't know, man. Oh, a, yeah, dude. They slow. A freshly eaten koala or like hungry koala? I mean, I'm I'm no dummy. I'd come at him right after he had that eucalyptus. <laughs> hungry, <laughs> hungry koalas are terrifying. That's why I go for eating koala who's all slow. They eat they they sleep like 22 hours a day. So. The eucalyptus. <laughs> yeah. They poison Everybody. themselves. Makes them tired. Yeah. It's calming, yeah. Mm. What animal do you wish you could take hand to hand? All of them. <laughs> hey, yeah, dude, find a big old Kodiak. Dude, I think like a big silverback gorilla. It'd, it'd be cool. To <laughs> what about like a tiger? He's ready to pounce. You just <laughs> launch him. Like launch Tarzan. him over you. Yep. Yeah. See, I couldn't do that to a tiger. I love tigers. <sighs> if he was going to eat you. Same. Okay. Yeah, I'd be his <laughs> friend. I, I read something about tigers the other day that they are like the only animal that actually like holds a grudge. They will get vengeance. Really? Yeah. Dude, I like that. What animal is this? A tiger. Really? Yeah. Arr. I thought that was kind of interesting. They'll destroy. So don't mess with the that tiger. They will emotion. get revenge. <laughs> huh. And a chimp is the, like, other than humans, is the only other animal that will murder. Since you believe in Bigfoot, would you like to fight Bigfoot? Yeah, actually. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's that question about the, like, fighting a chicken sized horse or a hundred horse size or chicken sized horses. Is that what it is? I don't know about that one. I've seen one about chihuahuas. Chihuahuas? Like, would you, how many chihuahuas do you think you could take in a fight? All of them. (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking, how many? How many? I've heard a little bit more twisted version where it's kids. (laughs) It's like, how many like how many kids, kids five year old yeah it's like how many five year old kids could you take in a fight? But yeah, chihuahuas. <laughs> let's keep this. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it PG. I don't want to beat children. Now think of it. You're you're in an open field, and you know what I twenty I, chihuahuas come at you from all angles. I just start stomping. <laughs> I picture that okay. scene in uh, 
The Lost World, the second Jurassic Park, when those little copies, copies yeah. yeah, when it's getting the one guy though, when he's in the river and they yeah. just keep biting at him, and I'm like, it's like annoying. Don't let him get you on the ground. <laughs> nope. Yeah, there you go. Don't trip on him. Mm-hmm. Okay, 20, 30 of them, thirty chihuahuas, <laughs> all around barking, nipping Am I just at you, hand to hand, or do I have a yeah, weapon you have of some nothing. kind? You do accept the clothes. I, I think I could take thirty. Okay, forty. <laughs> 40 sounds like a lot compared to 30. That's, that's a lot of chihuahuas. I, I want to see 40 chihuahuas. <laughs> I've got so many mental images going in my head, and none of them are okay to share. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can start. It's like, uh, what is it? Uh, Sauron in Lord of the Rings when he's just swinging that mace and like people are just flying <laughs> yeah. left and right. <laughs> that's why. <what> I- <laughs> Or I, I think of uh, I think of the scene in the uh, the Matrix Reloaded when he's fighting all the Mister Smiths. Uh huh. You <laughs> just he stabs that pole in the ground yeah. and starts running around. Yeah. It. Don't let him unify. That's the thing. Chihuahuas. Yeah. If you don't let him unify, how do you, how do you stop him? You run at him. <laughs> stop. No. What if they they have no fear of you? Oh God. Well, they you want, can't keep changing. Well, no, that's the thing is you're fighting these Chihuahuas. They're out to murder you. Mm. That's what I was going to say. Most chihuahuas that I would fight, I probably couldn't hit because they run away constantly. But see, they're in a group. They got that group see, I think that mob Chris, mentality. They're stronger together. Chris is on it. As long as they don't get you on the ground, they can't jump very high. Their mouths aren't very big to bite, so they're going to get your legs for sure. What's their jaw strength? <laughs> Not very much. I mean, enough to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I can fight uncomfortably. And like, it'll I'm, draw, I'm taking, they'll, those little teeth will draw blood. I'm taking a hundred of them. I'm taking a hundred of those little hundred bastards. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> here's the so, thing. I mean, they're piling up, like they're at your feet. The other ones are coming and they're getting on top of them. Then you and move. they're like, all move back, start a new pile. <laughs> so they, they, they're fast little buggers. Too. Some of them are jumping yeah. up. They're, they're attaching to the, you know, back fat of your arms and the weenus. <laughs> They're hanging off. You got like you're flapping chihuahuas. I here. think I could break their neck with two fingers. It's true. I think, I think my problem is I'd get tired. <laughs> I mean, a hundred chihuahuas, hundred exhaustion. I would. I think exhaustion. Adrenaline, would kick though. It. Okay, is there waves of them? They all at once. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> Do I get to rebuild a fort? <laughs> yeah. Is there time for me to buy the special weapon? <laughs> No, the second wave is a bigger dog. How dope would that be, actually, in, a, in the next Call of to Duty? Instead of zombies, it's chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And it's just like an insane amount of chihuahuas. Yes, like every round is like increased by Could you imagine the sound twofold. of that? Just well, <laughs> and here's, like a hundred times, though. Would it get though. to you mentally? Here's the best part, right, is they should do this because chihuahuas are small targets to hit in a video yes. game. Yeah. That would be really tough. Yep. I can see it though. The Lots of grenades. Just, <laughs> no, just grenades. Just, <laughs> have, have you ever just played Red Mist? <laughs> have you ever played Diablo 2? Yeah. And you go to that uh the cow level, the secret cow level. Oh yeah, yeah. And there's thousands of cows mm-hmm. and they're like carrying around halberd axes and stuff and hitting you. That's Dude, it's fun. like uh oh, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, what if it was like 500 chihuahuas, but you had a weapon of choice? What They're weapon would you pick? They're, They're going dead. down. Don, a mace. Okay, how about Katana. this? It can't be... Okay, there you go. It has to be a weapon that you swing. Like a, like hand, a melee hand, weapon. Yeah, yeah, melee weapon. I want some light samurai crowbar. <laughs> a crowbar? <laughs> Bro, your head would be so tired after 10. I know. <laughs> You I just want to hit the tenth bat. one and, and miss. Brass just knuckles, a bat. just a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Get Nunchucks. those ones. Get Brass those ones knuckles. with the weights in their hands. <laughs> yep. See your hands and come like ten pound fists. This Don't is such a messed up that. That. conversation. <laughs> okay, okay. That's pretty funny. A double sided right. axe. So who, <laughs> who's doing the most here? I think I could take on a hundred with a, a katana by myself. I bet I could do 100. 100, yeah, 100 and 1. That seems plausible. <laughs> now we're talking prices, right? It's like, <laughs> raise you by just one. <laughs> yeah. If we get down to Zach, I could do 101. <laughs> I, I really think exhaustion you. would kick in. I'm way too out of shape. I think I could take 100 of them. I want to say I could take 100, but I don't know. I'd get tired. <laughs> what about fighting roosters? That's a whole different Dude, ball that's game. terrifying. No, nope. yeah. I'd be out. Oh. I'd, 
They got those I weird claws. I ran away from the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they don't even need claws for me to run away from them. <laughs> I've taken out a few roosters. <laughs> <laughs> we, them? we ate them <laughs> okay <laughs> they didn't go <cut> away <laughs> sucker my grand, my uncle got a brass or a plate in his head from a rooster really oh my yeah. gosh he got a metal plate in his head it's Why? my great great uncle because it attacked him it got up high enough and that spur penetrated its skull jeez dang oh, really I don't know man the fight in a rooster scares me far more than a chihuahua they got a lot of bark too though like they'll a lot of its feathers flop, flop and <clears throat> coming at you but there's a lot coming at you but you just got to watch those feet freaking ninja birds <laughs> <laughs> they're like kangaroos yeah <clears throat> oh. all right what about this one would you rather fight 100 duck sized horses That's or awesome. one horse sized duck <laughs> <laughs> Horse. My my money's on the duck. I've, I'd I'd fight the horse sized duck. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd have to go that route too. Contain the head. Because <laughs> you said duck sized horses. Yeah. I don't know. Horses are they bite even even duck size. I feel like they'd they'd be aggressive little buggers. But what would a horse do to you that small? Kick you? <laughs> you yeah, do. they got a bad yeah. kick. <laughs> bite you? Break, break your bite. shins? Their jaws intense. I've gotten bit by a few horses, and I don't like them biting me. I love horses. See, if a duck, if a duck bites you, it's nothing. Yeah, there's no teeth. But at the size of a horse, it's just pinches. It's, it's your whole. I picture it just grabbing my entire body. Like <laughs> <laughs> I just, that's bigger than a horse. I just it, but that's like the image that's in my head. I got an image. See, my image is of like a glorious jump, grabbing the beak and just holding on and <laughs> swaying me around. So one one horse sized duck. Mm, that's yeah. where you're going. I'd like to have an omelet from that duck. <laughs> Yeah, if that's the route I'm going. Yeah. I feel like in that case, quantity would be better than, or quality would be better than quantity. But I didn't think about it. They do have those little claws. Just think the size of those claws on a horse-sized duck. It's, it's like, like talons. Like velociraptors. <laughs> I'd risk it. <laughs> yeah. If you get your arms around its neck, though, it's probably going to take off. I'll Fly ride you up thing. and drop you. Domesticate it. <laughs> it just, I can't didn't they do that in Final Fantasy? Fly to work on That's a chocobo. <laughs> it looks kind of like a duck, but yeah. it's different. It, it wow. is a duck. You shorter, just paint the feathers. Shorter beak. Paint the feathers. Call it a chocobo. Ooh, chocobo. The monster sl- hunter had one like that too. Yeah. Sons of bees. Those mm. ducks, they're tricky. What would you want to do? Horse sized duck? I already said, yeah. Horse sized Did you? Duck. I didn't. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't paying What attention. kind of bear is best? Polar. False. Brown bear. Bear naked. <laughs> That's all I had. A Move Kodiak. On. A Kodiak bear. A Kodiak bear. I think, I don't know. I just said polar because I panda bear. Bear. It's not actually a bear, Beats. though. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> it's more related to like, um, I think it's a like a raccoon. Related to the raccoon. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do they have a pouch? They may have a pouch. Pandas? I don't think they have a pouch. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, they don't. <laughs> but I think they are. They, yeah, they aren't even related to pandas. <laughs> They're just kind of dumb. I thought <laughs> that was so red cute. pandas. Red pandas are cool. Red pandas are cool. Red right. pandas are related more, I thought. Yeah. I got one. Kay. Would you rather be deaf or blind? Ooh. I hate this question. Deaf. Deaf. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I know there's no music. I get that, but but I can see. I like vis. I like I'm very visual. But could you imagine? Oh, man, I I don't know, man. I don't know what I'd like. Would you rather hear your wife or see your wife? <laughs> I think we all know the answer. To that. <laughs> that, sir. I think we all just swayed that we would rather be deaf. <laughs> And I'm speaking on Zach's behalf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. just I'm just kidding. I had to throw Kara under the bus. I just said, Our week of immunity is up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, Depends on the setting. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> so it it's depends a, on the setting. If, if it's sexy time, here. he'd rather be deaf. Uh, true story. No, I was like the... Like if you're in trouble or not? <laughs> like if you... <laughs> you switch it? What if you could switch it? <laughs> what if you had to be one or the you other? You only be one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> then that would... <laughs> Blink twice. <laughs> Hmm. That'd be weird. How could you imagine what settings? So obviously, like driving, you would pick vision, mm -hmm. obviously. But like, what would be settings that you would switch? It'd be that if I'm moving around, turn on the eyes. If I'm <laughs> sitting around, turn on the ears. <laughs> yep. Okay, what if you were at like I'm a going concert? To bed. If yep. you were at a concert, would you want to see the concert or hear the concert? Hear, I know hear. it sounds funny because it's music, but. Sometimes there's some great visuals going on. You just you just go audio until like everybody starts freaking out, and then you hurry and switch visual. <laughs> and then, you go back. then you realize your face is in the back end. <laughs> you face in the right way. <laughs> You're out in the lobby. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> the craziest part about being deaf at a concert is that you would be able to just focus on feeling the music. Yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. Which would be a pretty unique vibrations. Like yeah. Like in Baby Driver, how his uh, like foster father or whatever he is, how he would put his hand to the speaker uh -huh. to feel the beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm, that's a good one. So <sighs> I'm assuming we're all deaf. I'm going to say yeah, deaf. deaf. Yeah. I would miss music so much. But Life would be I feel real like hard. just hard it'd be more difficult without vision. Yeah. Oh, man. Who would win in a paintball match? The world's best paintball team or Navy SEALs? Navy SEALs. <laughs> Just because I'm patriotic. <laughs> 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 because that's... Yeah, it's a whole different thing from shooting guns and paintballs. Guns. Exactly. So does that mean the is paintball it? team? Will I don't have know. I have to. I have to ponder. I just said something out of response because of. Mm, I mean, America. they're Navy SEALs. Yeah, I've never shot a paintball gun. Is it different shooting a paintball gun over? Oh a gun? yeah, it's very different. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is, would that cause the issue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the strategy like, versus would the paintball team be better because that's what they use. They use those material, <laughs> those weapons, that game, that environment. But at the same time, Navy SEALs are so adaptable. <clears throat> True. <clears throat> Trainable. Yeah. So maybe the, the paintball team would start out ahead. I don't think like a best out, out of five. <laughs> and the SEALs would adapt. I think it would depend on the uh, scenario, too, because I feel like the SEALs would have the training to just overcome the situation. Mm. The weapons have nothing it's to true. do with it. Man, strategy. I don't yeah. know. If, I don't know if you're a professional paintballer, you know the strategy to winning a paintball match. Yeah. And that's... Hmm. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I would think the paintball guys would win. It's their arena. Yeah. Their like, home turf. At yeah. the end of the day, a Navy SEAL is meant to... See, but that's the thing. Is go into work. like... Combat. Navy SEALs... Yeah. <clears throat> They are going to everybody else's turf. They're never on their home turf. So well, yeah, but I mean, like as far as physicality goes, Navy SEALs mop them up, you know, every night. Is that that they're all beating mop. the crap out of the paintball team. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, guys, like, guys, it's a scrimmage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they are meant to like go deep into territory, be physically fit, all this stuff, like tactics, all of it. But you're literally fighting a pro on their turf. Yeah. Behind an inflatable triangle. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. Like, especially the trigger finger that they <laughs> they can shoot out hundreds of paintballs in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Is the is the Navy SEAL just pumping out one at a time? Or are they I'm gonna say Navy SEALs. Still, I mean, I would I'm, like to be patriotic. I'd like to believe yeah, in our, I'm you know, say SEALs, they adapt, but, but I see what you I see what you mean. Yeah. I'm gonna say they adapt and they Go harder than ever before. <laughs> really? <laughs> than ever before? <laughs> well, they're trained in life and death situations. Yeah, this is like done, to this them, is right? way more important. Do you remember that time we took out Bin Laden? Yeah, this is nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is way scarier. We're, We're just turning hard, people yellow boys. with paint. <laughs> we got pride on the line. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. 
Yeah, I think I think the paintballers might have it. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm still I'm kind of divided. It's just not their seals. place, and that's not their fault. You're putting them, but it's it is tactical maneuvers and stuff, which I, they are pro <laughs> at. I get your side. I don't know. I I I, I get the swayed. difference, but I still see the Navy SEALs being that adaptable that they will. They will adapt and conquer. It breaks my heart. End of the day, though, I think you're right. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. 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 You know, there's probably a YouTube video on this. So, so there's, there's a couple, the there's a couple of comments say. on this question that mention times when, um, for one one example, a Delta Force team took on a mid-range professional airsoft team in an airsoft match, and they got their butts handed to them by a bunch of 15-year-olds. How do you keep track proof. of points in airsoft? I it's want the proof. Honor, it's, honor it's, code. Yeah. Oh, I want the proof. It's probably on YouTube, like they said. So that's because. But I think it, it, it's that's because the Delta too. Force is just honest. The fifteen-year-olds aren't being honest. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, possible. Possible. Like that's entirely possible. I had a force fill. Bro, you're dead. No, no. <laughs> I had a revive pack. <laughs> but I mean, I think it, it does come down to, like, what you're trained in. Mm. Yeah. And and you got to think paintballs and airsoft behave differently than a two two five or a five five six. It's a two two three. Yeah, I was say, it's what probably I mean. a two two three. Two two three. I got special bullets. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 they don't make them. I make them. <laughs> hmm. Here's a funny be question. Fun to watch. Sorry. <laughs> Here's a funny <laughs> question, just because it is kind of relevant. I feel like we're YouTubers, so whatever. Is it better to be TikTok famous or Instagram famous? Right now, I'd say TikTok famous. Yep. Instagram. I don't know really? what the numbers pay out. What you said, is it better to be? Yeah. I just feel like Instagram <clears throat> is more highbrow <laughs> than TikTok. You know what I mean? No. What do you mean? Are you saying TikTok's more beneath classy. you? I'm just saying I feel like be. Instagram's a little more class. Well, then you have a lot of Instagram models who aren't classy at all. Oh, well, that's true. But I think like Instagram kind of tries to pull a, a, a more classy crowd than TikTok. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you TikTok. like the stuff? The TikTok. stuff might <laughs> so I, I get... see like my niece watching stuff is just like garbage. Mm. I guess it depends then on like are you trying to just get your name out there and get famous? Because if so, I'd say TikTok. But if it's like overall quality, then yeah, it's Insta- hard to say, man. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's, but I mean, again, it is it is kind of a growing platform. So as it gets more attention, like how know. long until we start seeing, or maybe it already is. I don't know. I don't get on TikTok enough, but are like celebrities and stuff in on it? So oh, yeah, has, but it feels weird. Have, have people made fortunes on TikTok? Like just TikToking. Talkie tickers. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know of a few people who made some pretty good money on brand deals, but the thing is, is you're not getting. Yeah, they're not revenue. getting money from TikTok somewhere, yeah. huh? But mm. then again, you're also not getting paid on Instagram. Instagram. Just, doesn't yeah, but I feel like I feel like companies are more quick to brand deal on Instagram than TikTok. They definitely are, and it's. Huge in part because they are backed by Facebook. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, because yeah, Al, the brand deals that come through for our vlog channel and stuff, they always request Instagram analytics as well. They never ask for TikTok. I think TikTok's just, it's too volatile. Like, there's <laughs> no way to n- for sure know how your video is going to be seen mm. or by who. Yeah. Like, you literally. If you literally spend extra minutes on any type of TikTok, you're now watching those for the next like two hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true. Huh. All right, I got one. I, I got one too. Oh, go ahead. But mine's a little more serious if we want to do that or if we yeah, want to keep go it on. Go serious. This may get a little do you think social platforms like Facebook and Instagram should f- have to follow Freedom of speech. 100%. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Even though they are a private company. 
They're too big, right? They're, they're, they're a private company that came out <clears throat> as a platform for other people to speak. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can't and, let one group of people speak and another group of people not. Mm-hmm. I agree. Which but. I feel like is what's going on right now. Oh, yep. I agree. Yeah. So I don't, I think that's the issue. If they came out as a publisher, then yeah, it makes sense. You know, like mm. you, you're a publisher, <clears throat> you decide what gets published, you decide what's up there, but you're also responsible for it. It's a community page is, is what it is. But I mean, like legally, yeah. if you're a publisher, you are responsible for the things that get published. So yeah. if you publish something that's like super bad. Mm-hmm. you as the publisher are responsible for that, like legal liabilities and stuff. Yeah. Whereas if you're an open platform and anyone can do anything, you're not responsible for it. Like, so in that case, like you're those, protected. those private Facebook pages that they'll specifically say, this is a fun page. We don't want any political blah, 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 blah. Um, those like, so when you branch off and now you're in one of those, do you think freedom of speech should kick in? Oh, of course. Freedom of speech doesn't mean free from consequences. Yeah. Right. Well, I get. Yeah. Like, I, I guess, I don't, can you get kicked out of, should you be kicked out of one of those for having your own opinion about things? In a private group? Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're, you're basically, when you go into those, you're, you, what's the word? Apply. When you apply mm-hmm. to join one of those, you're adhering to their rules yeah, yeah. you're, gonna you're say making a social contract <laughs> there's one i'm a part of it's a uh u of u group uh just mainly specifically u of u sports but they've flat out said no f-words and i've seen people who get pissed off about a game or something they drop the f-word in a post and literally they're deleted just like that <laughs> so, yeah. and it's just because they flat out said i don't we don't care what you want to talk about just no foul language so yeah. you're agreeing to the guidelines of that group. Yes. I agree. So when yeah. you join the group, you are adhering to those guidelines, what are set up. Yeah. And if you. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah exactly. As far as censorship on the platform, though, as a basis, I think, yeah, that should yeah. not happen. Like, so we're like your example is more so in that private group. It's moderated by the people who made it. It's like a club, essentially. Yeah. But we're saying that Facebook as a whole, Mark Zuckerberg sh- Zuckerberg should not have power to censor people. Yeah. yeah. Because he's literally picking and choosing what he wants us to, mm-hmm. to hear and see. And like Chris said, I can't remember if it was in this one or the last podcast, like that they can literally influence elections yeah. just by holding back information. They don't like about people they don't like or want to get elected and pushing forward only good things about the people they like, Mm -hmm. you know, suppressing the bad, pushing the good stuff. Right. Well, I mean, prime example is, uh, Donald Trump getting kicked off Twitter. Yeah. Like, I don't know how the government allows that. Mm Mm-hmm. And as of right now, I think he's banned for life. I don't think he can ever get back on. Yeah. Something like that. I know that that's trash, right? Yeah. Like you're literally censoring a political party, mm-hmm. a figure, yeah. whether you agree with it or not, that's not right. That's yeah. foul play. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even think I, I've seen some other stuff that like political people, like people that are, have been elected to political positions. They're not even allowed, I think to like block people from social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think like, so. cause they're, they're in a public, they're a public servant. Mm-hmm. So they're not supposed to be able to like block people. Well, I know too. Like, there's um, people who 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 became Facebook famous, and they run for an office, and so they automatically get demonetized for running as a political figure on on mm-hmm. Facebook, and that in turn changes the algorithm. So their views of their videos they want to go up, that the messages they want to send to people get shoved to the bottom, which I don't think is right either. Yeah, mm. it's da- It's dangerous. I mean, yeah. you always hear it's a it's a slippery slope. I mean, like, it's very very dangerous. There's yeah. a reason it's the First Amendment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, I people don't <clears throat> get it. Like, I I understand. Like, there there are other countries where they don't necessarily have free speech. They do to a point. Mm. And and you you hear some of them like talk about like I can't believe you know Americans care so much about this and it's like. This is a big deal. We were the first country to come out and be like, 
Speech is free. Nobody should be censored. Everyone can say whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. Yeah. Like, that was unheard of back in the 1700s. And, like, it's a big deal. You literally, there are countries where you can literally go to jail for for a hate crime, yep. which is just you saying you don't like something or somebody. Yep. Yeah. Like, having a thought, that thought comes out of your mouth, you're now in jail. Like, that's insane to me. Now we just call it Facebook jail. <laughs> well, they say, you know, that it can incite violence and this and that. But, I mean, I, I give people credit. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. know what to believe, what not. Get people interacting, researching a little more. Well, that's that's the problem, though, is because inciting incitement is illegal. Yeah. But, like, we're talking, like, hey, you, go do this bad thing to this person. Like, that is incitement. So, well, I get that. Or, or screaming fire in a crowded room. But like, they're calling incitement for things that aren't. Exactly. Yeah. Let me just tell you the one thing that I hate about it, though. The free speech is there. The one thing that I hate about it, though, is you get these so-called keyboard warriors. And I have dealt with people who I know... In real life, if I was standing in a room with them face to face, they would not say half the words that they say behind the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what frustrates me the most. It's like, if you're going to be on the internet, be the person who you are in real life. Mm -hmm. Don't be some jackass moron who's just saying stuff because I can't get in trouble because I'm not face to face with you. Well, being behind the screen takes away the empathy. Exactly. Right. And the fear of consequence. And yeah. Ca- you're not, you're no yeah. longer arguing with a person. You're arguing with a statement. Yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's how it is over the phone sometimes. Like working in a customer service setting where sometimes oh, yeah. I'm dealing with people over the phone. I get people all the time that it's like, I guarantee you wouldn't be yelling at me like this if we were face to face. And, mm-hmm. you know, but. I don't, I don't have the fear of you punching me in the face for me <laughs> saying something stupid. Yeah. Mm. All right, next topic. All right, I got one. Uh, oh, crap, where'd it go? All right, there. Who is guilty of harassment? Wiley Coyote or the Roadrunner? <laughs> <sighs> Who started it? Right? I uh, don't even know what the Roadrunner did except for go fast. He had to do some. Oh, I guess he's, he's Coyote's lunch. Yeah. Coyote's trying to eat him. Okay. So so I saw that one and I, I was kind of like, ah, I feel like that is it's Coyote. But then I thought of one who's the who's guilty of the harassment, Tom or Jerry. Because I feel like that one goes both ways. Kind of goes. Jerry's kind of a douche. Right. Yeah. I couldn't tell you who's Tom or who's Jerry. Tom, so Tom cat. Tom's the cat. Tom's the cat. Oh, Jerry's right. the mouse. See, because I feel like there's times when Tom's minding his own business Maybe trying to get the lady cat, and Jerry comes up and messes with him, and he's kind of, yeah, like you said, a douche. So he's a douche. I <laughs> feel like in this case, I feel like Tom has my favor. It depends on the circumstance, though. They both will go back and forth. Jerry retaliates. I just, I'd take or Tom him. over Jerry because, like, Tom. Like this sounds, I don't know how this sounds, but Tom has the excuse because like he is the predator and Jerry's the prey. So when Jerry's the one being the douche, I feel like it makes him an even bigger douche because he's just toying with him. Yeah. 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 (laughs) It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's like kids when they would like try to get the other person in trouble by getting them, like antagonizing yes. them to do something mm. to which they can get in trouble. Because that's how it seems like most of the time it turns out, you know, Jerry goes up, toys with Tom. So now Tom turns and chases him. And then that's when the living room gets destroyed. And so and Tom Jer- gets blamed. Jerry's the provoker. I could see it. Free Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag free Tom. And give the freaking rabbit some tricks. The freaking rabbit. <laughs> right. He never gets any tricks. That's true. It's, it's crap. true. It's because it's for kids. And you got this little <laughs> leprechaun still in everyone's marshmallows. <laughs> They're his lucky charms. <laughs> it's a television commercial. <laughs> 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 So sad. Who is the best serial cartoon? (laughs) 
I'm biased here. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. Is that why you like tigers so much? No. Because he's named Tony. <laughs> that actually, no. That was just coincidence. Okay. I've always just loved tigers. Rice, the little Rice crispy man. <laughs> little snap, little crackle, little and pop. Snap, crackle, crackle, and pop. Yeah, the weirdos. No. <laughs> Tricks, lucky charms. Trying to think of them. There's Count Chocula. Cuckoo. The cuckoo bird. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Cocoa I like Puffs. Captain Crunch. Toucan. Good old Captain. Captain Crunch. Toucan Sam. What about the B? See, Captain Crunch doesn't have it for me because by now he should have definitely been promoted from Captain. He's been Captain for a should long be time. Admiral Crunch? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> the B from Honeycomb? Is, or from... From uh, Cheerios. Uh, Cheerios. Cheerios. Uh-huh. Cheerios. Yeah, he's a great motivational speaker. He is. You're going to die you wanna, if you don't eat this. He makes you want to bring, <laughs> mm-hmm. bring down your cholesterol. <laughs> True. I think that... Right? He's looking out for your heart, But he man. says a touch of honey, and it's all gaping all over all this stuff. He's all... <laughs> But then you eat it, and you're like, yeah, it's just a touch. It is just a touch. <laughs> <laughs> I, sure. He told the truth and showed the lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, true. so actually, maybe I re- withdraw my thing about him. <laughs> He's a liar. <laughs> Trying to help my heart, but false advertisement. <laughs> he wants, he wants to keep that poop floating. <laughs> all the fiber. <laughs> Is it supposed to float? If you have enough fiber, yes. Oh. <laughs> Mine's like Toucan a- Sam from Fruit Loops. Toucan Sam was chill. He got to eat the, the stuff, and he shared it with the kids. Nobody mm. had any issues. Right. And he had a cool beak. <laughs> Follow your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. yeah, the bunny got shafted. <laughs> The leprechaun shafted the leprechaun, everybody else. Yeah, the leprechaun was a little thief. Or hoarder, I guess would be better. <laughs> His B is a dirty liar. <laughs> False advertisement. I'm going with That's Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam's the only stand-up guy around here. What about the I mean, I guess Count to- Chocula? Tony the Tiger. No, I'm still sticking with Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger was pretty good. He was also very motivational, wanted kids to go out and... Play, play sports yeah. and be active after eating a bunch of sugar yeah, super yeah positive. which yeah. is super hilarious because they're it's like the sh- most <laughs> sugary cereal out there right? yeah. Yeah, it's so good. is it really it's like one of those the milk ones. afterwards <laughs> so good so good it's because it's sugar <laughs> yeah <laughs> sugar milk next to that, the gods that's where cocoa, that a- that's where the cocoa puffs because then it turns your milk basically into chocolate milk mm. so you throw that milk into a, a pan on the stove you got yourself dulce de leche <laughs> Trying it. Mm. <laughs> All right, I got one. Okay, let's hear it. Which football is the real football? The game they play all over the world or the game they play in the USA and Canada? Well, I'm in America, so I have to choose football, the one that's in my country. Yeah. Just I'll, but it's all but perspective. Like, I'll be honest. I hate that football is called football here in America. <laughs> I, I, f- I have to give it to what we call soccer. Yeah. Because I mean, I, it makes more you sense. actually play with your foot. Right. Yeah. So I agree. I really want to know where they got that name. Like football for, for the, our the football. NFL. Yeah. So what should football be called? Handball. <laughs> but there's already a handball. <laughs> tackle. Tackle ball. Just tackle ball. <laughs> tackle blitz. <laughs> Blitzball. Blitzball. There you go. Boom. Sounds dumb. <laughs> I'm just I as in like football is so ingrained in you, like you think of it anything else, it just sounds silly. Cause like think if you had never heard of the sport before and you're like, they're teaching you the premise, you're like, okay, and what's this called? What football. about like what about like field <laughs> ball? There you go. Field ball. Field, field ball. ball. Something like that. So <laughs> I was going to Google why is it called football, and I just typed in why. And Google <laughs> suggestions, ready for this? First one is just why. Second is why women kill. <laughs> Third is why Kiki, but not spelled why Kiki like the place. Really? It just says why space Kiki. <laughs> why is the sky blue? Why is my poop green? Why are flags at half mast? <laughs> wow. wow. It's a random it's an selection. Assortment. 
That, that'd nope. be a fun game. Just why to is type in Google green? and see what happens. Let's figure it out. Why is my poop green, Cam? Yeah, the new slushy. Here, there's going to be a picture. Nope, no pictures. <laughs> slushy makes you poop green. Green leafy vegetables, green food coloring, such as flavored drink mixes or ice pops, iron supplements, a lack of bile in stool. This may indicate a bile duct obstruction. Certain medications, such as large <laughs> doses of bismuth subsalicate wow. and other anti-diarrheal drugs. I've heard it could also mean you're getting sick. That is what I always heard growing yeah. up, and I wonder if it was an old wives' tale. I don't so feel I, good. What color is your poop? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. So I remember Daniel Tosh talking about one where if you just typed in is, just I-S into Google, the first question there for a while that popped up is, is Daniel Tosh gay? <laughs> and he was so proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> he would be. Right? Yeah. Uh, well, it, it raises good question. Action. <laughs> See? But go. it's no cause for concern. Okay. Well, the reason you're... What was it? Sorry? It could be a bacterial infection as well, but it says it's no cause of concern. Mm -hmm. uh, Next debate question. Is <clears throat> Daniel Tosh gay? No. no. Are you sure? I feel like he wants to be, but he's not. I you feel like I mean? he's just so comfortable with himself that he could care less, but he's not. See, I'm with Seth But he's to one. the point where he's so comfortable that he could be. But I want to say he's been in a serious relationship yeah. with a girl now for a while. Are you sure? Look it up. I'm curious. Is Don Daniel Tosh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I Is mean, that Daniel door might swing both ways. Tosh. I mean, some of the stuff Listen he's done this. on Is his Daniel show. Tosh married? Is he Mormon? Is he canceled? Is he in Paradise PD? <laughs> <laughs> Who's asking if he's Mormon? Well, he, there ain't no way that dude's Mormon. I've heard somewhere that he's like <clears throat> ex-Mormon, that he used to be or something. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe not. Spouse, Carly Hollum from April 15th, 2016. Hmm. Spouse, so he's married. Yep. Does he have hmm. more than one? So he's deep in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I've seen some episodes where I'm like, this bro might be gay. I, I don't, don't know. Remember. I don't know. I can't say anything. He I might be so him. so undercover. I don't know. Austin, I thought it about you for the longest That's time. That's fine. So. <laughs> That's fine. I never thought that. <laughs> he was hungry. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? Oh, you know what it means. Hungry for the love. love. <laughs> hungry for the love. Oh. <laughs> I found the answer about football. Huh. It says uh, football's name has foreign ancestors. American football w can be traced back to two European cousins, soccer and rugby. Both began as kick kicking games. Soccer, most popular sport in the world, was originally known as association football. Newspapers seeking a shorter phrase began to refer to it as a soch. That's weird. The name was soon shortened to sock. <laughs> and it grew a ba back a bit to soccer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Well, rugby also began as a football game. In 1823, something occurred that changed the kicking game forever. A player named William Webb Ellis, instead of kicking the ball over the goal line, Picked it up and ran across. <laughs> <laughs> At first, observers didn't know what to think. Eventually, they agreed it was a good idea. The game was played at the rugby school and became known as rugby football. Later shortened to rugby. Both soccer-style football and rugby-style football eventually found their way to America. What resulted was an American combination of the two games. It was... Un it was... I think it means it wasn't until much later, 1906... That forward passing was allowed. So because the American game was really just another form of the European football games, it too became known as football. Mm. Okay. Gotcha. So at least that makes sense. So it was sense. like an evolution. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Evolve the name. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Well, then in that case, you guys can have a soch. <laughs> or, or a sock. A, 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 a soccer. Was, yeah, it was shortened to A-S-S-O-C. A sock? A soak? A soch. A sock. Hmm. It's freaking weird. And we'll have football. You ever, you ever like find a question like that you have? You're like, 
how did this happen? And you think it's going to be something monumental, and you trace it back, and it's like the dumbest reason. <laughs> Some <laughs> guy grabbed the ball and ran over. Yeah, the like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it like, <laughs> sounds like that guy just broke the rules. This is too hard. <laughs> Let's just grab it. No, I, I can totally see it. It happens, and then they look at each other like, this is that good, legal? This was a good idea. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Hmm. <laughs> Eggnog or hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Probably hot chocolate. Neither. Egg chocolate. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Eggnog. Yeah. Hot nog. Be good. <laughs> I might have just. Yeah, Eggnog. I don't, like, I don't like either. You guys can have it. I can only drink it like I feel like once a year. <laughs> like one. Like, like literally, literally one, one glass. <laughs> yep. Because it's like, and I have to make it half eggnog and half milk. I've heard like, of a lot of people that do that. So are you talking Sprite? like store-bought yeah. eggnog? Yeah. Eggnog and oh. I've never had like legit eggnog. My grandma makes it from scratch. Mm. So, so eggs and nog. And she always like, Chris, come with me. I'm like, okay, what? what's going on? And she's all, I got you some rum extract. <laughs> so she gets like rum extract for me to put in my eggnog <laughs> at the Christmas That's the party. way it's supposed mm-hmm. to be, isn't it? It's supposed to have rum in it. Yeah. Yeah, but she gets extract, so it's just flavoring. Oh. oh. I was like, oh. Yeah. That's I got the real grandma. stuff in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> come on. She's like, she's Grandma, like, come here. <laughs> <laughs> look, look what I found. <laughs> Get your grandma lit this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> she'll fill her extract bottle with rum. real rum. Just rum rum. But it's funny because she'll like hide the extract. She's all like you would at like a high school <laughs> like dance or something when you're actual yeah. alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a fifth, let her be jolly. <laughs> so grandma can dance? <laughs> I think I'd say hot chocolate just because I drink it all winter long, where yeah. eggnog is a holiday drink. One time. <laughs> yeah, see, I love eggnog. I'll drink it definitely more than once, but it's typically just around that Thanksgiving, Christmas time. Mm-hmm. I'm making you guys my grandma's eggnog. I'll take it. I'll try it. Okay. It's like that itch comes up, you scratch it, and I don't need to, f- need to scratch <laughs> it another year. <laughs> now, now, if this were a debate about coffee oh, yeah. and hot chocolate, hot that chocolate. I could debate. <laughs> coffee all day but yeah i do not like see even when i was a coffee drinker i'd probably still take hot chocolate it's too sugary for me man but that's the thing is those those two aren't really in a category together to be debated one's like a liquid dessert kind of yeah i could see that that's a good way what's another what's another drink another warm like dessert like drink like apple cider wassail what is a wassail? Yeah, wassail's <laughs> pretty good. Wassail's good. Wassail. It's kind of like a cider. Here we yeah. come a waffling, a waffling. <laughs> yeah. My problem is, is mo- majority of those are way too okay, sugary, how about and this? it makes me crash. Like, how I about this? Because tired. it's sugary, but it's kind of a hot and cold situation, would you take a nice flavored hot chocolate or like a chocolate shake? Chocolate shake. Chocolate shake. Shake. Yeah. Hot chocolate. I'd probably do the hot chocolate. Really? Chocolate shake, and then I'd make a vanilla. You do vanilla's them. better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Just, and then I'd take out the chocolate. <laughs> and then I'd just go get See, the See, when it comes to a shake, I have to have all the fixings. Like, like, ch- like just, the other day, just the other day, I got a Warren's uh, shake from Warren's, and it was like hot fudge caramel with cookie dough. Like, that's mm. the kind of shake. If it's okay. just chocolate. okay. There's there's a good debate maybe maybe we're all on the same side as this one too. What's a shake? Is it a liquidy ice cream drink or is it a thick drink or a, a thick thing with like a bunch of candy in it? What's a shake to you? A shake is something you can drink like through a straw, but still thick enough. Nah, then. <laughs> That's the argument. Literally just brought up our argument. <laughs> it's still thick, but you can still get it through a straw. Then I mean, just... I don't want to be like trying to suck a golf ball through a garden hose here. <laughs> it's like <laughs> just mixed up ice cream at that point. Like just kind of yeah. stirred. See, like if you were to go to Dairy Queen and get one of their blizzards, that is ice cream. That's not a shake. Yep. That's like a soft served ice cream yeah. almost. Yeah. See, I it's hard because I agree. 
A shake, by definition, I feel like is something a little more liquidy that you can suck through a straw that has the flavor with no chunks. But I, small chunks. I personally like it with the big chunks, something I still eat with a spoon. Like when you say, let's go get a shake, you're talking about something you're eating with a spoon with chunks in it. Right. So, so that's like, ice cream. See, but I don't but classify I don't classify it as ice cream because it's, ice cream. it's like it's melting it's ice cream. Ice cream. All ice cream melts. What are you talking no, about? No, melting. Like it's in the process of melting. That's so you a can shake drink it in 20 minutes? Right. So like if so I like, wanted to tilt the cup and actually drink it from the cup, I still could, but it's too thick for a straw. Yeah, like a Frosty. Frosty starts out, you got to eat it with a spoon. Like Jake's over the top. But eventually you can burger drink bar it out of ones, but, mm. but I mean, te- I guess technically what I like is a malt. Mm. Okay. Malt See, because you can't, you can't put a, a <laughs> shake, like as you're calling ice cream, like what I'm calling a shake and you're calling ice cream, you can't put it in a cone because it's going to melt and drip all over the place. Arctic Circle, or you could like take that straight out and put it in a cone if you really wanted to. That's, it's that's a blizzard. It's a proprietary ice cream. That's Dairy Queen. He said Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle. Oh, yeah, they yeah, call yeah. It a shake. Forget about that. Over the top shake. Do they still put the little vanilla cookies uh-huh. in it? Oh, that's good. <laughs> now, now, Jake's over the top. Are they shakes or are they? It's ice cream. See, I, see, I still but call I think it. They, a, I think they call them shakes, though, like on their yeah, menu. They're shakes. I think they're still shakes. This kind of comes to our debate I, that we look had. it up, Jamie. I kind of put I'm it all in the same category. Jamie. It's. I feel like it kind of comes down to what we were saying about like a hot dog. You know, is a hot dog a sandwich or whatever? <laughs> I feel like it's. It literally comes down to the shape of it. So if you have it in a cup with a spoon, that's valid. Like, I feel like it's a shake. But if you put it in a bowl or a cone, it's an ice cream. That's actually a valid point. What if it's, I put? Um, <laughs> what if I put a malt into a bowl? See now, okay. I, let me ask you that. What's the difference between a malt and a shake? A malt is like really. The, it put, uses like you know they put malt you know, in gobstoppers. It. Yeah, this not gobstoppers. Whoppers. 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 <laughs> gobstoppers. That'd be a great shake. <laughs> uh, whoppers You'd are stop. malt like that stuff in the middle. They grind yeah. it up and add it to the and so it gives it a different taste. Gotcha. I'm thicker. Ooh. Makes it thick. <laughs> the raspberry, <laughs> those raspberry malts down the road. I don't know. Well, well there. The I frozen don't custard say the place because I just said oh, down the road. Got you, got you. Oh, and yeah, like Nielsen's frozen custard. Oh, oh dude, that's Nielsen. That's good stuff. Mm. Okay, there's an ar- argument. Maybe heavy breathing ensues. Shake or Italian ice? Shake, shake. Oh, see Zeppies. They're, oh my gosh, I'll take Zeppies over a shake. Okay. Ice cream or gelato? Ice cream. Gelato. Ice cream. <laughs> What's I, really like, I really like gelato. <laughs> Isn't Gelato's that Italian really ice cream? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it different? I don't it's know. It's supposed to be. It's, it's, it's depends on where you get it. <laughs> yeah. Is it like not as creamy? I feel like gelato is basically it's a creamier. soft served yeah, ice it's cream. It's more creamy. It's creamier. Like, Briars actually has a really good gelato, which hmm. is it's weird because like when you when you see it, like have you ever seen gelato just like in the little? I think I've seen the concept case. of it. Like so, it's it's on the fluffy, stone, right? kind of creamier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's not yeah. as it's not as hard as ice cream. And it do, it I feel like it melts slower. Mm-hmm. I like gel. I want to try it. But Jake's over the top doesn't even say shakes. They say specialties and favorites. Because they probably had the argument. Of it. <laughs> like, this isn't a shake. I want to be able to choose through a straw. The owners are like, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> Fine, we'll call it favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Is it favorites or specialties? <laughs> just kidding. Let's not call it anyone anything. We'll just put it in a cup and let them decide. <laughs> Here, have some. I remember my friend was obsessed with Jake's over the top because they legit put it way over the top. On I, it like, was good, but then they got. I don't know if they did this from the beginning, but the the sneaky part was the small cup inside of the big cup. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. So you had a massive cup with a tiny cup inside of it. They put a foam tinier cup inside, and then of they it. made it big. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-oh. Why? So the ice cream it's doesn't even go to the bottom. Portion no. control. It's all about portion control. What? You ever almost accidentally eat styrofoam because it's the same color as the ice cream? <laughs> Never. You, no. you don't realize you pushed a little I, too hard. I've only done that when I've gotten like caramel in it, and they they it's like the thick caramel, mm-hmm. and so I feel like I'm getting a gob of caramel, and I'm really scooping, Scraping and then I realize it's part of the styrofoam. <laughs> Whoops, I'm a fatty. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make your poop float. Styrofoam. It That's would. true. <laughs> it would. <laughs> so here it says a shake is made with, by blending milk and ice cream. Okay. A milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Wow. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> hmm. But I think it's just one of those Which things. Which is something that can be synonymous. sucked through a straw. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Unless you have a little bit of milk and unless a lot you, of ice cream. Unless it's an in and out shake, you got to give that a good 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they forget the milk. They just put the ice cream in it. And you ever got straw. like a McDonald's shake? I feel like something's up with theirs. It turns into something else. Right? You have to eat it it's, when it's. You like, have to suck it down because it turns this? into McDonald's, McDonald's shakes. turns into syrup. I don't know what oh, it, turns it turns into. It turns into something. It's not syrup, but it's, really? it's not food, it's <laughs> a <laughs> substance. <laughs> it like turns hard, right? No, it's like a. Are you talking weird, about it turns a like flurry? a foamy? No, no, no. no, no like no. they're shake shakes. Like if you get oh, a I've drink never had shakes. a shake. I used to get their strawberry shakes all the time. Mm-hmm. They were great, but yeah, if you don't drink it like fresh, it turns into almost like a foam. Frothy. Like it's, yeah, it's, like a, it's almost like a like a goopy foam. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Uh-huh. I like Jamoka almond or Jamoka shakes. Carl's Jr. From Arby's. <laughs> I haven't had those. Carl's Jr. actually has really good shakes. Mm-hmm. I haven't tried theirs. They're hand, mm. was it hand scooped or whatever? <laughs> All right, just because I want to end it on a food one. Best pizza joint. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> now, are we keeping this so our audience knows, or can we talk local pizza joints? Uh, Like chain pizza? Yeah, let's do chain pizza. Okay. Because I I know my answer for non chain for like local. Yeah. So let's, I know your let's say both. For non-chain. Let's say both because <laughs> I want to hear what it what is yours. Chain. No, let's say local oh, first. Definitely Just, Louis. Yeah. One thousand percent. Oh man, I love Louis. Louis is, Louis is way good. Is that the one that has the Miss Piggy? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good pizza. I feel like though it's a close toss up between them and Pizza Man. I was just gonna say Pizza Man too. Pizza Man out in North Ogden. Oh. Their breadsticks are insane. I've never eaten there. It's really oh, good. Oh, we'll need to good try stuff. it. They have is this... that where you guys, is that where we ran into you guys at that, uh, what is that, Slackwater up there? And then afterward, Shaylee was like, yes. oh, we got to go get no, breadsticks. Yeah. yeah, we all went to Slackwater, and then afterwards we, yeah, Shaylee's like, we can't come this far without getting Pizza Man breadsticks. Uh-huh. Really? So they're they, that good? They have, they're pretty I want to try it out. They, they, are, they, really they have this uh, Chinese chicken pizza. It's like kind of what their specialty is. It's like Chris wouldn't like it, unfortunately, but it's because it's got like a teriyaki, almost like a sweet taste. But you have the option to put peanuts and pineapple on it. And like I'm still not a pineapple person on that. But the peanuts, as weird as it sounds, makes it so good. And Mm. it is fantastic. We just the penis on there. (laughs) Peanuts. (laughs) 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 I'm just kidding. Where my head went, I heard mm-hmm. that. All right, but chain pizzas, chain Papa John's. Papa John's. Oh, I used to be Papa John's, but I feel I like they've Papa John's. I, I feel like they've lost it. Their garlic that you put on your mm-hmm. crust. Are you just gouged? Now that them? I'll give, I'll give you That's that. Good. I love their chicken bacon ranch pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. I actually mm-hmm. like Papa Murphy's too, though. Papa Murphy's has stepped it up. Like I, I love Papa Murphy. I mean, it depends on what I order. Their chicken bacon ranch is good. Their, so their barbecue chicken oh, one. Their oh. New York pizza, like the super thin one, is actually way good. Their but Chicago. Like, for t- okay, style. let's let's That's do good. what we had to do with the other one. Just your average pepperoni pizza. I don't mm. like pepperoni pizza. I don't like pepperoni pizza either. Oh, whatever. I do actually. There's not I a person wouldn't. on the planet <laughs> doesn't like pepperoni pizza. You will eat it. I've seen you eat I it. I will eat it. Doesn't mean I like it. What is wrong with you? I hate pepperoni. <laughs> I, I like Hawaiian. pepperoni. Okay, I just what's your go-to? What's your pizza? Hawaiian. 
Oh, How that's my guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You've redeemed yourself. <laughs> Hawaiian's good. But I would I would have to say personally Domino's. I really like Domino's. Domino's is pretty dang good. Mm. They got too much going on now for me. I, yeah, I'm not a Yeah, I don't like Domino's. What about Pizza Hut? I like pizza. I hate pizza. Take fried chicken and a pizza. I don't know, man. It's been honestly, it's been a long time since I've had Pizza Hut. The last time I had it, back when they had the salad bar, was the bomb. When they had the red cups out there. Yep. And you actually like ate in the. the, Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? You You read enough books and go get your personal pan of pizza. You go get the, uh, or you go to, gosh, what part of Wyoming was it? Cody. Cody, Wyoming still has a Pizza Hut just like that. Nice. Yeah. Road trip. Yes. <laughs> for real. Dude, I loved their breadsticks growing up. You know whose pizza that is funny as it sounds, but it has to be fresh, is Little Don't Caesars. Oh, he said it. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the extra cool. most bestest. With the extra cheese, extra pepperoni, and it has to be fresh. And how 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 much does that run you? It's about it's seven like bucks. A little over six bucks. Okay. When's the last Pushing time you got it? <laughs> What's the most bestest or whatever? I've it's never heard of that. More, more meat, more cheese on it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. there's like sausage it's and like, ham on it, isn't so it? So I think the price just went up a it's little bit, but it used to be a dollar more. So you had the five dollar fast and ready pizza that they're like known for, or you could get the extra most bestest and you pay an, a dollar more and you get twice as many toppings. Which did you know they got rid of the five dollar pizza? Really? What? La- last time I tried to order, it wasn't available. <laughs> they just have the extra most bestest now at six fifty. Well, because it's the way to go. How do you? I know. What about just like a pepperoni it, pizza? That's extra most bestest pepperoni pizza at six fifty. Do you it know? It doesn't you, make sense. No, actually, I, I disagree. Cause, well, unless they're charging you for crap, because there's times we've ordered and gotten the amount of pepperoni that a regular five dollar one had. And so we have to still specify extra most bestus to get like it's literally the whole thing's topped with pepperoni. Have you ever got it crazy style? They put the crazy yes. bread stuff on. Ooh, top. that sounds fantastic. Yeah, you just ask it for it yep. crazy style. They put the You know what I found out too? So little Caesars is disgusting warmed up unless <laughs> unless you do it in an air fryer. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh, it's fresh again. I, I always use a toaster oven. That's but not I'm a bad idea. The, I'm going to try the air fryer. Because I was always just a microwave kind of guy, and Little Caesars is so gross after it's in the waxy. microwave. Yeah. yeah. But man, throwing it in the air fryer, it's ready to go. I Delicious. mean, my bachelor roots still come in hard. I just eat it cold out of the fridge. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. I do, too. Uh, yeah, yummy. Yeah. I do eat it cold out of the fridge. You, you, just don't, know, mm-hmm. you don't put it in a microwave, but yeah, I'll eat it cold. I oh. take that back. They do have a classic pepperoni and cheese. Okay. But it's there was one time I tried to... Yes. There was one time I tried to get it. It literally wasn't on the menu anymore. I was forced to get the other one. But See, I I just have Little Caesars most of the time because of price and everything. Little so, Caesars. So it's hard to say. The thing that I, I dislike most about Little Caesars is that they don't go all the way to the crust. Yep. They have that little no man's land of like just skimpy tomato sauce. No cheese to be found. I feel like it depends on who's making the pizzas that day, because I've had it both. They're all made by teenagers. Yep. Have you ever had Hungry Howie's? I love Hungry Howie's. I'm I, not a fan. Really? Uh-uh. I love Hungry I Howie's. I like it so much. Do you? Oh, yeah, dude. That, like, flavored crust is so good. Huh. Are, is Hungry Howie's local, or is that a bigger name? I don't know. I think they're a bigger name. How big, I don't know, but they're a bigger name. Hmm. Have you ever had Z Brothers? That's the one that just popped up around here. Where is it at? Over by Winco. Mm-mm. Mm. I wanted to go check it out. There's one mm. that's on Main Street, and I can't, like, I can't remember what it is. It's like one guy's pizza or something like that. It literally <laughs> looks like a little mom and pop hole in the wall, and I want to try it, but I just haven't. It's, it's probably looks incredible. Good. Pie up in Ogden. Good old pie. All right, so cha- chain chain. What are, we think? what are we saying? I'm saying Domino's. I really love their pizza. Papa John's. Papa John's for me. Oh, I don't know. It always amazes me how many people go for Papa John's. Like, they're good, but... I like their sauce. It's just they... Their sauce and their crust is what does it yeah. for me. Their only problem is they don't have green olives. My favorite pizza is ham and green olives. Really? Oh, it's so wow. good. What about you, Cam? I think I would probably say Domino's. Domino's? I don't know. 
I always eat cheap. <laughs> well, I mean, lately we've you been got, eating... You got unlimited funds. Where are you going? Twinks that are all over. Chicago! <laughs> 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 or New York. Oh, deep oh. dish. Through and through. I'm a Chicago pizza guy. The deep dish. Yeah, you gotta go I'm gonna deep. have to you say get pizza, your hut. pizza with a side of lead. I'm gonna have to pizza say Pizza Hut, hut but that's <laughs> that's loosely saying Pizza Hut because it's actually been a long time since I've eaten there. But I remember them being my favorite. Mm. So See, I, I think, remember. I think Little Caesars is better than Pizza Hut. See, and maybe it could be by now. I don't pizza know. Pizza Hut's disgusting. Is Marco's chain? Ooh, Marco's uh, is pretty good. It's pretty good I'm pizza. Not, I'm not as far fan. as like a I chain think actually pizza. Like, Hungry Howie's is nationwide, and right now that's been our favorite place. You really? I'll can't take say. Hungry Howie's over Marcos. You really can't go wrong with pizza. That's the beauty behind it. Uh, is it right? Yeah, right. Like our favorite pizza joint um, down south is Seven Hundred Degrees Pizza, or is it Nine Hundred? It's one of the, I can't remember. <laughs> I think I've been there. Oh, it's so good. We'll eat an entire large pizza, just Jess and I, and a large bowl of salad. Like Where is that? Hungry. Like location? George. Oh, okay. Right, you, so can even, you can even go to like Pizza Pie Cafe. I mean, it's a buffet of pizzas, but it's Ooh. freaking it's yummy. Oh, they, they actually <laughs> just opened one up in, uh, I want to say, pizza. Sandy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Man, and now I'm just hungry. Now I want a I Whopper. I want pizza. I want pizza. <laughs> Let's yeah. cover it. We had a lot of good food topics, a lot of debating of food. Now I'm just love, starving. So I love food. I'm going to end this podcast because I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. But uh, we hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Debate Night. Uh, if you have any debate questions for a future episode, please drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for being Bye. part of this crowd. <laughs> <laughs>